Hello everyone, it's Charlton. Please subscribe to my channel, tap that notification bell, and like this video. It does help me keep making videos and I would appreciate it majorly. Alright, so the police are looking for this woman here. Her name is Sol Pais. And uh, I believe that's how you pronounce her last name, P-A-I-S. She's 18 years old and supposedly she put some kind of credible threat out there. I don't know how she communicated to it, communicated the threat and specifically what school she sent the threat to or what. But Columbine High School was one of 22 schools, I think total in Jefferson County, outside of Denver, that where schools were placed in locked out, not lockdown, but lockout, which is a little bit different than lockdown. Lockdown is when schools, you know, um, where the teachers and students literally barricade themselves inside the school and prepare for somebody to come in there to harm them. Lockout is, is quite different. It's, they basically lock the doors, but the school day c continues as, as, as it normally would. But there's obviously a threat, and that's why there's the lock um, out in the first place. And I believe Jefferson County... Uh, sheriff's office deputies and police officers were, pla were placed in certain spots, you know, throughout the county, you know, near the schools as a precautionary, as a safety measure. But she was spotted in the area, in the foothills of Jefferson County. She supposedly traveled overnight from her home in South Florida. She's from uh, Surfside, I believe, which is a small town or a town in Miami Beach where she went to high school and she lives with her parents. Her home uh, where she lives, I believe, has already been you know, uh, approached by the FBI. It's pictured over the Daily Mail. And uh, I don't know that her parents did speak or what they said with the FBI, but uh, it's, you know, it's obviously a scary situation. It's We're, we're almost on the, uh, the 20th anniversary of Columbine, the Columbine shooting, April 20th, 1999, where 12 people were killed. Um, I think, I don't know if it's 12 students and one teacher or or 11 students and one teacher. So, but she was spotted in the area. She, she, the, the authorities have warned the public not to try to approach her. They've called her armed and extremely dangerous. They don't really have, uh, I don't think, um, enough probable cause to, to arrest her, but they are, I believe, uh, seeking to detain her for a mental health evaluation, as I understand it. I saw that in one report. And her, the, 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 the notice that they actually put out, uh, reads like uh, this. So have you seen this woman? The FBI Denver Division and Jefferson County Sheriff's Office are asking for the public's help regarding a potential credible threat in the Denver metropolitan area. Related to the lockouts of Jeffco Public Schools today, last night, Sol Pais traveled to Colorado and made threats in the Denver metropolitan area. She is armed Considered to be extremely dangerous. She's a white female, 18 years old, approximately five foot five uh, inch, five and in, uh, five inches in height, with brown hair. She was last seen wearing a black T-shirt, camouflage pants, and black boots. She was last seen in the foothills of Jefferson County. Please call the FBI tip line. At 303-630-6227, where your call will be immediately answered if, if you have uh, seen this individual or have information on her whereabouts. Please do not approach her as she is considered to be armed and dangerous. And supposedly she was seeking to, to uh, purchase firearms in the area. So um, apparently she went to a gun a gun shop in the in the. Uh, Jefferson County area looking to buy additional firearms, but I they're considering her armed to, to be armed and dangerous. Uh, I believe before that, I guess she traveled with firearms. Not totally sure. I don't believe to this to this moment they've 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 located her. And obviously, it's now well into the evening, um, Tuesday evening. So uh, you know, I don't know. Obviously, the schools are there is no no longer any lockout, but. It's naturally a scary situation. These things have to be treated, um, taken seriously. But it's a total of 22 different schools. I think were placed on lockout as well as other institutions, and they continue to to search for this woman. It's pretty crazy. Definitely.
It's reported that she has some kind of, uh, she's infatuated with the Columbine high school shooting. You know, police seek, FBI, police seek woman infatuated with Columbine who traveled to Colorado and is considered armed and extremely dangerous. This is Denver, Denver Post. Officials secured schools across the Denver area Tuesday as FBI and local police hunted for a woman infatuated with the Columbine school, Columbine school shooting who traveled to Colorado the night before and made threats and was considered armed and dangerous and extremely dangerous. You know, we don't know how she made those threats or, you know, what the specific nature of those threats were, but they were large enough to cause 22 schools in the area to be on lockout for the day and uh, the police to be out in the area or in the perimeters of schools and, and so forth looking for this woman. She was spotted in the area, and I believe the threat might have been made, I don't know if it was made before she traveled to Colorado Overnight or while she was in the area. It's hard to say. Authorities confirmed it was her presence that triggered the lockouts. Outer doors are bolted, but the, cl but the classes continued as normal. First at Combine High School and more than 20 other Jefferson County institutions, then dozens of other schools across the wider metro area. The threat, the threat came just four days before the 20th anniversary of the Combine Massacre, during which... Two students shot and killed 12 of their classmates and a teacher. Uh, it's pretty It's pretty crazy. All right. Um, well, that's that's pretty much what the story is. And they're still look, looking for this woman. Uh, I assume they're going to catch up with her at some point. All right. Thanks for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like down below. I'll see you in the next video. Later, man.